Okay guys, welcome back to OK Keto. This is Miranda. I promised a little recipe video, but I'm not even sure you would consider it that. I'm just really winging this dinner. Because I want something that has a variety, because I don't want to meal prep and eat the same thing all week. So, right here I have um, basically beef tips that are made for um, stews. That is my fiance's cat coming to watch what I'm doing. Uh, I got gloves to handle the meat because it's what I prefer to do. Got some extra virgin olive oil, some sea salt, some black pepper. I bought some of this uh, roasted garlic and herb seasoning. It has uh, no carbs as you can see, which is good. And then I'm going to have these butter balsamic glazed vegetables with it. And these... Here are the nutrients on that. So it's five net carbs per serving, but that's not too terrible. I, I'm allowing myself 20 a day. And Meg here is gonna be my little helper, I guess, maybe. I'm gonna do this um, in my air cooker because that's how I like to do things lately. So the first step for me is going to be put my beef onto this plate I'm going to drizzle with a little extra virgin olive oil, put some salt, pepper, and some of that roasted garlic seasoning, and I'll get back to you once I got that done. Okay, so on this meat, I have the olive oil, the salt, the pepper, and the roasted garlic seasoning. I'm just mixing it up in there, using gloves because sanitation. I mean, some people do, some people don't. I just rather not touch that with my hands. And I'll be right back to show you the next step. So my slow cooker, I have this one right here. It's been preheating at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. You only really need to do it for five minutes, I think, but I was prepping stuff. So I'm just gonna dump the meat right into there. It's already got that olive oil on it, so it's good. And I want it, I like to give it a shake personally to even it out a bit. There we go. Let me pull it over to the light so you can see it better. And I'm going to pop that in there. I think I'm going to try for 15 minutes on my first go around. And I'm probably going to shake it halfway through. That way all the pieces can get a little bit of that uh, char going on them. And I'll show you how that looks halfway through. Okay, so it's gone for about seven and a half minutes. So I'm going to pull this out and give this a little shake. Here's how it's looking so far. Going pretty good. I think it's probably going to go more for like 20 or 25 minutes, but we will see. Okay, so this is the meat after 15 total minutes. It's still got a little ways to go, but it's got some good browning. So I'm going to add the vegetables and do it for another 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll see how that is. Okay, so after I put the vegetables in, I cooked it for 15 more minutes, shaking occasionally. Now I have a bite and a taste tester. Blow on it. <laughs> Okay, you can stop it. Okay. <laughs> Opinion? Good? Just one thumbs up? You have to? Thank you. Now I feel like that was scripted. <laughs> yeah. Good? Okay, thank you guys for watching. Bye.